Hi everyone, thanks for checking out another InfoSec Hub video. Today we're going to talk about Barracuda Email Security Gateway. And the way you see it right here is an overview of one domain. And this uh, gateway is placed in front of an uh, email server. So it could be Outlook or any other package. Uh, but in this case it is Outlook, uh, Office 365 if you will. It's placed in front of that and based on a rule set, this gateway uh, really decides what comes through and what doesn't come through. Um, so let me explain to a certain degree. This is a live production environment. Uh, so I will blur out certain things because I do want to make a tutorial. Yes, but I don't want to show you where it is located on the internet um, because I can't condone that. So basically we have a dashboard here of this gateway. So you can see the flow of uh, mail on an hourly basis. Um, all the stuff that's allowed that's blocked because it's marked as spam. And what else we got? Blocked, bad recipient. You don't see that because it contains a virus. It's quarantined, um, allowed, tagged or allowed. Um, you see there's quite some mail going through there. Um, this is daily. So you see here it's a, almost 2000 mails going through there. And this is even more and some days like 31 March, we reach more than 3K in mails. So this is for one organization um, with about 350 people. Uh, mind you that when you work with certain systems, you also get notifications. So that also counts as mail, but 3000 emails a day is not a lot, but also not not uh, not very tiny amount. So it's it's okay. Um, here you get some statistics. Spam it reports sixty five. Quarantine. Okay, it only reports spam here. Um, so this is the basic layoff uh, dashboard, I should say, of this application, just to show you what's happening. What is blocked? Why is blocked? Maybe it contains a virus. Maybe it's quarantined. Stuff like that. Um, as an admin of this program, what is important? You want to go to the block tab. You have a block on IP, IP filters. So let's say, for instance, you receive lots of email coming from an IP coming from Ukraine, uh, Pakistan. North Korea, sorry you guys, but you know, that, that's what's happening. Or maybe Ghana, somewhere in Africa. You block this stuff based on IP, right? So every um, email header contains an IP address. And based on this IP, you can set up certain block lists. Um, that's possible. But you can also go to the sender. And you can allow certain email addresses or you can block them. Um, I will probably, because these are all blocked, uh, I will show them to you. Uh, so I fill in this email address and the option here is to block. So it will not even go to a quarantine section or whatever. The gateway recognizes this email address coming in. I don't want it. I just block it at the door and it's just lost in... Uh, in transmission basically um, if you quarantine it it will go to a certain folder inside of outlook so you can still go through it so the email basically goes through but doesn't go to the intended email address and tag to be honest i don't know t a t a g i don't know what it is don't know it. don't know yet um so this is all based on rule sets so if we go back to basic, we go to message log. Again, I can't show you everything, um, but here we have an overview of inbound and outbound email. Uh, so outbound is when you look at the domain as a start and a finish. Outbound is when you have a certain address at a domain, you send the email out, that, that is outbound. When somebody emails you from, let's say, Gmail, 
coming through your domain that's inbound. All right, so inbound, outbound. It's like a post office, basically. And um, here we have a email address. Um, uh, let's see if I can block it. But the thing is, maybe I don't need to block the rest of this because this is where it gets important. Okay, you can see that this email was blocked based on the message body is hidden due to privacy controls but let's see where's the reason the score here let me see if we can find that also yeah here so barracuda this email gateway say that this um message scores a 15.30 for spam right based on maybe the ip maybe the domain is coming from maybe the way that the body is set up what you have to understand the power of barracuda is basically all this data that it has been aggregated over years uh, based on ip based on titles uh, based on the uh, the message body basically how spam is set up um, and this is the added value of a system like this it's called a gateway because it's, it's sitting in front of the email server the, the, the email server yes um, and it's checking every message that goes in and goes out um, and then with everything just like a firewall we have certain rule sets there that you can apply um, and Every email is um, rated at a certain score. And because this has score 15.30, then Barracuda decided this is spam. All right, so let's go back. So here you can see blocked. Most of them are allowed, but we can also filter to... Let's see what we can add. Blocked messages. It might take a while but uh, these block messages they all blocked on a certain score and here you can see the reason so it's either based on a score or a zero hour intent um, there's always a reason and here you see reputation that's also another reason um, a domain name can have a certain reputation and what is the reputation um, if your domain name was never involved in spamming or hacking or anything because you always do it uh, out, out of an IP address or a domain but if it was involved for instance in a spamming campaign then um, Barracuda and a, a, like, a, like a global list of domains um, a certain reputation will be added to your domain so is, is it trustworthy? Is it not trustworthy? Is it been used in a spamming campaign? Uh, whatever can, kind of campaign, is it been used for shady purposes, basically? And this is all uh, big data. And based on that, they can uh, decide if it's trustworthy or not. I hope that makes any sense. If not, then just leave me a comment. I'll, I'll try to explain it to you. Um, this is just a general video of um, this email security gateway and you know we will go more into depth uh, into how to use this but again I can't share everything right now we're just making the first video uh, and this is uh, such a vital pro program because when you think about data breaches when you think about hacking <clears throat> Usually it starts with a user clicking a link uh, and that triggers something in the background, right? Then a hacker could have potential access to your machine and your machine has certain rights, maybe have certain rights uh, on the server, um, read, write, rights. Nice. Um, you could do certain things, right? You could discover a network. You can ping from your machine to another machine. You can see what the network topology look like. Uh, you can discover and you can take your time. When, when you have one node on the network that's breached, you can take your time because you have the rights to be on the network. You can discover the network. You can launch certain tools. 
and and just take your time do some reconnaissance before you know okay this is how the network looks like and this is the nas the network attached storage which hold, which holds all the data everybody works with that because i see lots of data flowing to that server let's just encrypt that server and all the all the stuff that's on that server with a ransomware right stuff like that it usually happens with an email an email looks so innocent but i can disguise myself as the hr department uh, as your cfo as your ceo you know i can disguise myself like that and i want something for you there's always an action put on you like a recommendation or could you do this for me or based on our last talk can i do this and that and it's it's so basic but people still go for it so next to security products like this like the security gateway awareness is also very important so yeah guys i want to thank you for listening to this video uh, in the next one we're going to explain more about the various functions that this package holds um this is just going to be like p of sense because this is really a security product uh, and i want to dive into this and this is this time it's on on email which is very interesting to me because when you're in infosec you know that's where all the trouble can start from so thanks again for listening and watching um and we hope to that you have a great day thanks for watching bye